Hello, I have a unboxing for you. This will include three different shops, Sticky, all three packs, Sticky Club, uh, Sweet Kawaii Design, the monthly sub, and this is Sterling Ink. This is actually... Um, last month's I haven't they were um, there was some kind of issue with their um, items and so they were backlogged a little bit so this is a little bit late from last month but it's a good one I'm sure it always is <laughs> okay we will start with hey well, why don't we start with it yes I, uh, she recently changed her sub, um, categories. There's three now, and I was getting the, the top one, and now there's a topper one, and I'm still just getting the one I was already getting. I liked it fine, and I never used all the stickers, so I'm like, I was actually toying with the idea of getting the smaller one, but I just like all the stuff, and I, it didn't look to me like there was very much more all the stuff in the larger sub, but um, you're, uh, I highly recommend you try them out, because the best thing about Sterling Ink is um, uh, I think I can get this off, but I'll have to try later because it always takes me a long time, and I, I rather take a long time than tear it. But I'm just tearing it now for your benefit. You're welcome. Um, it always comes with a different color tissue paper. That's a kind of a good color, actually. Okay. Um, papers and. A, I think it's A5 size um, calendar sheet. So pretty. You can use it like a uh, tip in, you know, page in between, like for the beginning of the month in your journal if you have A5. If you don't have A5, you can cut out whatever size you want and you can use the rest of it as deco somewhere else. This is a whole sheet five weeks worth of day stickers. How you like that? Aren't they cute? And days of the month, including the month. So, I mean, again, you could cut the numbers off if you wanted to and just use the May part somewhere else. But, I mean, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Heck. This is mainly hard to get out. Um, mainly vellum. Really pretty. And you, of course, you can cut that to whatever size. But I think this is like letter size. Um, just regular letter size, I think. Isn't that cool? Wait, hold on. It has sort of a textured look, but, you know, it's just vellum. That is very, very cool. I like that. Okay, let's get into the kit, shall we? There's always an envelope, and it's usually a very tiny card size, but... This one looks longer than it did. Okay, let's look in the envelope. The envelope usually has a small uh, calendar sticker for the month, too. So, I don't see any reason why that would be different. Let's see. 
bicycle. That is so cool. And that is a vinyl sticker. So you could put that on your mo uh, <laughs> water bottle or whatever if you want. These are like tabs. Uh, month tabs. Um, oh, oh, there it is. I'm like, don't make me a liar. There it is. The, um, the month sticker. This is nice in the A6 because it doesn't really need to be very big. And some little small deco items. A, a nice size month sticker. And always a thank you card from... I think I did know her name. I'm dumb. I can't... I don't know why I can never read that. If I know the name, then it... I understand it better, but... I'm sorry. Okay. You probably can read it just fine. Okay. Decos. Most of these are decos. There's not like a whole bunch of different size boxes or anything. And that's why I like this this um, kit so much because you can use it in any size planner because there's all different size stickers and you can cut them down. They're not boxes so you're not limited to where they can fit or having to, you know, trim them or anything. Of course, you know, some of the deco is a little bit bigger, which is nice for journals. People who are very crafty and decorate their journal every month and design it from from blank pages. Uh, I tried that and it lasted about six months last year. I'm just not creative enough. And uh, look at that. The bicycle is so fun. See, you have all different sizes. You can, I mean, you can pretty much decorate any size planner depending on um, what size you need of stickers. As many or as few as you like. See, this is not the biggest size kit. Imagine what else can come in there. The, um, I have a little bit of a problem with these tiny, tiny numbers. To me, they're just a teeny bit too tiny. But, that's not to say I don't use them because I have um, the weeks, the Hobonichi weeks, and it really does need tiny numbers. So, it's I don't use them in my Hobonichi, but I do use them in my weeks. One last sheet. Oh, wait, that's not true. These are considered um, washi because they can be strips, but you can also... They're, let me see. They're strips... But you can also use them separately. See? And you always get two sheets. Or at least, I always get two sheets in the full kit. That's what she's calling it now. <laughs> Easier said than done. Why can I not get that off? Maybe it's not a strip. Oh, it's not a strip. These are individual pieces. But you can lay, you know, you can line them up like a washi. Mm, okay, I don't think I'm going to get that on back the way it came. But hopefully I can get close. <laughs> this is real time, y'all. Okay, there we go. I think I did pretty good. And again, this one is the same. This one kind of looks like it. No, it's not. All of these are strips. But you could still line them up along the bottom, even though if they're not. I didn't mean to say that. They're not strips, but except for the one. I like that that. Because I think last time it wasn't, and now I'm happy it is. Okay, that was uh, 
Oh, the kit that you get in March is for May, so they're always two months ahead. That is Sterling Ink, the March kit intended for use in May. But of course, you know, you don't have to use the, the month stickers. You can use it whenever you want, <laughs> which is what I do. Okay, on shall we? This is number two. promise if you're only here for the sticky, I will make a note of the time code when I start the sticky, and I will try to remember to put that in the description so you'll know where to start if you don't care about these other two. I, I like them all. I've never found a kit or a you know, any kind of a sub that I didn't like unless it was just really way out there. But I still look because I, because there, to me, there's always something in there that you're going to like, even if you don't like it all or you don't like the colors. This is the week's size. That's why it's so small. And I like that because I didn't have the, um, the largest storage sticker storage and these will fit in the medium one so this is so cute oh again this is the kit for june hello summer those are all the critters except the frog i like the frog i don't think the frog is considered one of the critters is just often on stuff this is they call it a bingo i don't really know how it works but i know you can look it up on the website and and find out um the oh these are the stickers for the bingo if you get all of those things you put the sticker on it it's kind of cool. I'm sure if you have younger children, they would probably and really enjoy doing that with you and getting to put the sticker on when you do a thing. And it also is kind of a nice idea of things to do if you're um, having trouble finding, wanting things to do but not knowing what to do. Um, this is the first page gives you instructions for what kind of pen to use and what not to use. There's always a date of renewal and a date of shipping. A sticker, if you put those in your planner. These are the date strips. I love these colors. These are summer colors. I'm, I've been loving the spring colors, but I'm starting to be ready for summer colors. Aren't they cute? I don't ever use those. I want. I don't want to take up that much space for one thing in my weeks. To do. I don't use those either. I don't make lists. I just do stuff I feel like. <laughs> And so why do I have a planner? Just because I like adding stuff to it. I don't really plan plan. I just memory keep. These are checklists, by the way. Aren't they cute little clouds? More little clouds and rainbows and boxes. I use this kit in my ASIC supplemental also. Weekly supplemental. This is what I put at the bottom of the ASICs. I don't really use it in the weeks. I don't like covering up all that stuff on the bottom. But I have the English version now, and I want to be able to read the little quotes. More. These are like icons. They're kind of big, though. They, they only come in one size for all the different sizes of kits. Whatever, kind, whatever size planner you have, 
this kit will come in that size. You just have to look it up on the website. Another washi strip. A little weekend banners. Another month, uh, week checklist. More washi strips. No end. To, and look, these are meant to be like, um, if you have one thing that you do for the whole week, just write it on the first day and then do a line. I don't really use it that way. I usually use it for borders. So cute. Sunset state of mind. Okay. That is the sweet kawaii design. Dot com. Hello, summer. Okay. We are ready for the sticky. It is number 16 minutes. <coughs> Whoa, we got a lot going on here. If, in case you've seen me um, start, oops. Gonna have to tear my note thing. That's okay, I have a whole pack of them. Uh, when I got them, I thought they were really, really cute, but I don't use them as much as I thought I might. <laughs> this is the Pop Pack, Vintage Pack, and Cute Pack. Let's start with Pop, because it's on top. Okay. This is called Beyond the Reef. That means it's got mermaids. You know it. That is a cute sticker. Is it? If it's a sticker. It's a sticker. So cute. That's like a little shark in one of those underwater, uh, I don't know what they call them. They look like, like where they looked at the Titanic. They took that little machine down and you have to ride inside it. There's a little shark riding inside it. I think it's cute. This is a little notepad. Cute also. And here's the stickers. shark again. There's the little machine thing. Submarine. The, the little one is not considered a submarine. It's called I guess they call it submersible. Okay. Thanks. I'm glad I saw the submarine. It gave me the name. That just looks like a carousel. Cool. Whoa. Whoa. There's the crabs. They're very red. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but they are very red. These are all underwater critters. They look more like pictures than art. Uh, well, these are seashells. Let's use the underwater critters. These are seashells. Every other line has a circle in it. I don't know. Oh, it's a pearl. Duh. That's so cute. It's one's open and one's closed. I get it. Those are nice for bullet marks or filling in empty spots. There's some more underwater critters. Nice. This is kind of glittery. Look at that. Nice. This is definitely, whoops, shiny holographic foil. Swim schools, I mean fish schools. I like that. Actually, that, I do like that. That would be good in a like a, a vertical planner where you use those little um, 
coil boxes underneath the underlay things. You could use those for underlays. Nice. They aren't quite the right size, but you can cut them if you have to. And there's two more. Look at that great big. Is that a shark or a whale? I don't see any teeth, but that doesn't mean it's not a shark, right? Look at that. Critters. Llama. Underwater llama. <laughs> I think these are meant to be more fantasy type, not necessarily the actual ones that you find under the sea. Here is a, oh, I don't remember what those things are called. They look like, um, well, you can see through them. I can't remember, but that is very cool. I like the way that looks. Nice definitely beyond the reef so cool little stamps okay that is the pop pack sticky club um hmm. this is april does that help <laughs> sorry i have to lean over just a teeny tiny bit because i got this laying on my bed <laughs> and so uh, I needed to sit up a little bit straighter for a second <sighs> okay here's a stamp y'all this is the vintage pack and it is called snail mail <laughs> that is definitely a snail s snail mail there's the snail. Oh, that's so cool. It has a, a, a box, a uh, voice box. A, I mean, a chat box, whatever you call it. That's so cool. I do like the stamps, but the problem is I always keep them in these little things, and they're never where I need a stamp, so I end up not using them very often unless I know for sure I want to use that particular one. And then I go get my ink. That is a nice notepad. Like it. Okay, let's see the stickers, shall we? I should probably stop saying shall we. It sounds kind of fancy. I'm not very fancy. Look at all the snails. Sorry, I'm just kind of flipping through. I'll look, I'll look, show them to you more in a second. This is envelope. Two different envelopes. Nice. I, I want to know what people use for these. Do you just use it to put stickers in? Because I think it would fit. Yeah, you could. And I realized that one from last month that had the strings to close it up with, that was actually meant to put the postcards in that were on the front of that little, that same little set. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we got here? This is mail. Vintage mail. There's a letter. Nice. I like that. I use, I, I actually do use those a lot in my creative journal because I do a lot of vintage -y type spreads. Actually, I like um, combining vintage and pop <laughs> in my creative journal. It's fun. I'm sorry. You can't see that very well, can you? This is definitely about mail. Look at all those. So cool. I wouldn't mind having extra of these. You can get those, by the way, if, you, if you're not familiar with sticky club um you can these are always available like the next month after they are shipped um you can get the one sheet you like instead of the whole kit isn't that nice stickyclub.com um i meant when i said nice i meant this i like the little it's like a house on a snail funny 
Here's all the snails. Ooh, it's foiled. Cool. Swirly snail shells. Nice. Look at the foil. Very, very nice. Okie dokie. I think I'm going to need the back of that one. I don't really love these, but sometimes they're hard to see. Some if I if I want to put it on a regular white page, I usually um swap swatch some highlighter first just to give it a little bit more color background. I like those. And here's some more like that, more snail stuff. Nice. And here are the, I think this is the last one. These are the snails. <laughs> so cute. These are the vintage pack. And now for my favorite, the cute pack. Let's get out of there. Oh, cute. I did see the previews for this one online and I thought I'm definitely going to be using those. Look at the cute notepad. So beautiful. I think it was called um, Friends. Nope. Kawaii Academia. Yeah, that's why it has books. But they're like two different. There's, it was like a bear and a fox. Or. No, it wasn't a bear. It was something else and a fox. Um, am I mixing it up with last month? <laughs> I love this. I think these are. Yeah, these are four different stamps. I love that. So cute. A little coffee, a little journal, a little flower, a little supplies, journaling supplies. So cute. Okay, here we go. Y'all, I'm not an expert, so when I when I sound dumb about stuff, it's just because I'm guessing. <laughs> I have my own perspective, and that's it. This is definitely little foxes. There, a little fox with the glasses. So cute. There's a little fox graduating. This is graduation time, y'all. This is meant for May, and this is graduation time. So this is good, good um, time to have these kinds of stickers, I think. Look at all the little crafting and journaling supplies. So cute. Let's see if there's any more that need a backing. They're little tiny squares. Look at that. They look like patchwork. So cute. Hmm. Oh, there's one more. Look at that. Mailbox. So, this is about mail too. Is that a little penguin, maybe? I don't know. No, I think it's a dove, because cause they used to use doves to, or pigeons, maybe, to uh, deliver messages. What does that say? Something mail. Bird mail. It says bird mail. <laughs> little letters. So cute. I showed you that one already, right? I like that. All the books. I love books. Anything with books in there. And coffee. <laughs> and rainbows. Books, rainbows, and coffee. I got a little bit of all of that in this one, didn't we? I love the washi strips. So cute. The good thing about these kinds of washi strips are you can actually cut those pieces out and use them separately. 
You don't have to use them as flashy. You know, you buy it, right? Once it's yours, you don't have to do it the way they say you do. Do it your own way. There you go. Poke, poke, cheek, poke, cheek. Poke, poke, pokey. Po po Sorry. Uh, look at that. Oh, so cute. Bottles, fountain pens, I guess those are ink bottles. Nice, fountain pens are such a big thing. I didn't realize until I started seeing videos about it. I can't remember what this is supposed to be, so I guess I need to open it. There was no sticker book this time. These must be postcards, maybe. No, I think they're envelopes. Nope. Oh, no. They're just little notes. Huh. Ah, uh, yep. Folded paper. Nice. Look at that. Remember when people used to actually write letters? So much stationery. Stationery used to be like this. This and the envelope to put it in. Nice. Which, oddly enough, there's two pieces of paper and only one envelope. So much, they want you to write a really long letter, don't they? That's okay. People used to do that too. Although, when I, when I used to write letters when I was a kid, usually only the first page would have a, a large deco like this. The, re the second page would usually just be plain and that way you know you you do your reading and all like that on the first page and you write the heavy duty stuff on the second page that doesn't have the extra stuff because you need more room. Okay that is the Q pack. Huh, I guess I won't put it in there like that. Anyway, okay, I'll put all that away later. I hope you enjoyed my video of Sweet Kawaii Design. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. Sterling ink. And... All three of the Sticky Club subscription for the month. Okay. Bye.